There we go. Hey guys, waiting for y'all to come on up. It's 7.30, 7.31. I have some tea and it's date night. I'm waiting for my date. He's coming. He'll be on here in a minute. Anyway, so I got a lot of stuff going on. Come on in, come in our house. Put that over no, there. No. <laughs> I said, come into our house and he's like, no, don't. I do, I want you to come. Hey, who's up there? That's Bethany. Hi, Bethany. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hello. Hey, Miriam. Hey, girl. Thanks for joining. Kadi. Good to see you, Kadi. Well, virtually. Oh, anyway. I can't see that. Can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I got it, right? I can't see you. We've got to figure out other ways to be able to see you. So, hey. See me? 7.30. Woo, woo. Give me some coffee. TRX hit my butt today. That's right. You can make some coffee. He gets his hubby cup. I don't know if you can see that. Hubby, he gets his hubby cup. My wifey cup has a crack in it, so no good. No bueno, no bueno. I'm trying to see names. Anna, Tara, I can read. Marissa, hey. Thanks for joining as we're hanging out in our kitchen. So, awesome. We're gonna do some uh, some dating. It's our date night. Hi, date. Mwah. That's my date. Did I give you a shock? No lipstick. A little shock. Still got it. What? I gave you a little shock. No, it was lipstick. Dang. I was trying. Yeah, so I was, was trying. Shock. It was, it was shock. shock. It was like Jane. Yeah. Okay. Jane's Shocking. Shocking. I don't know if anybody knows what Jane's addiction is. I, I could probably do. All right. So we're just getting ourselves together, making sure everybody comes on. Right? Marissa says, I can work it. You know. So it's not all in the same places after a few years, but it's all good. You know, have a couple kids, see what happens. Hey, Frank, thanks to see you. you thanks to see you. I can, your, I can talk. He said I have too much Mariah Carey honey in my tea. I ain't got no honey in my tea. I am the honey. What? This is crazy. So letting y'all folks get on so we can start our date this. night DIY. Um, I don't think I will need these pliers, but I will set them over to the side. And I will show you all what we're making. What? It's awesome. We're making these. Oh. What is it, honey? You know what it is? It is, uh, it's like one of those things in uh, Lord of the Rings where they light it to let everybody know that trolls and, shit, uh, trolls and things are coming. So it's like uh, a lantern. Yes, it's a lantern. There you go. This is the handle, which is not affixed to it yet oh, because since was cool. we're going to give it away. We want to put the handle on that that you want, but yes, it is it is a lantern, and because it is wood, please do not put real candles in it and start a fire. That would not be good. Hey, Ricky, good to see you. So what we have, ta ta da, that wood, our fake candles. Yes, battery powered. Boom. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see that right there. It's battery. And check it, when you put it inside, no fire. It no fire. This is good. Muy bueno. All right, I'm going to put this to the side. Well, we'll turn it off, get it right. We could do it. We could put like a mesh right there, so you could have a, like a real candle. You could, but like wood and open flames, just for me, no. If it's pretty. And especially if it's pretty, but if you, especially if you got kids, I, you know, and little kids, I could see someone just like knocking that thing over and bam, fire. I don't need a fire. Don't need a fire. So we're going to talk about, are you ready? I'm listening. You're listening? All right. I'm getting my teaching on. I'm or it could be Jack Daniels. Tro it could be a Jack Daniels trophy case, says Marissa. Yeah. You know, you know. Many uses, whatever you kind of go with. I'm going to go with a lantern, but you know, hey. So some things you're going to need, and um, once this is over, power we're going to... Power tools. Power tools. Once, once it's over, we really don't need much. Um, we will put the cut list and all the materials that you need on, hey, Tina, on uh, a link below so you can just grab them and, you know, free, make it, have fun. And at the end of this DIY date night... Some lucky winner that is watching, we're going to give you one of these. We will mail it, mail it to you, or if you're here in Fort Hood, drive it to you. Bring it on over. So this Crazy is the- people at your doorstep. <laughs> Hi. 
<laughs> just come in and drop this off. So this is the small lantern. This is the small one. And then now we're gonna make, we're gonna make the big one. So what you need are, ready? These are two one by eights. But you know what I discovered? Wood. One by eights aren't really one by eights. Because when wood is cut, I discovered this from the lumberyard, when wood is cut, it's kind of wet. So it is one by eight at that. Oh, sorry. You just hit me. No, I, excuse me. <laughs> I know, you just got me with the drawer. No, with the drawer. drawer. Um, they shrink. And so this is actually one. Could you hand me the, yeah, hold that thought. The tape measure, which I should have left out and I didn't. All right, the tape measure. This one by eight. I'm sorry, this one, the little one's the one by eight. This little one was a one by 10, and it's actually nine and an, nine and an eight. Nine and an eight. Nine and an eight. It's, a nine, it's nine and an eight. So, which makes the measure, the cutting a little. It's wood. Wood, but yeah, a little different. But when you go to the store and you ask for a one by 10, this is what it looks like. Now, we bought a six foot section, and I cut multiple pieces because we were going to make a whole bunch of them. He's going to love that. Well, somebody had one of the boxes cut it. Yes, we went to a box store. You went to the box store. I did go to the box store because if you don't have power tools, you don't have a table saw, or you don't have a saw, or you're saw, scared to use them. Or you're scared to use them, you can have them cut everything for you. So everything you see here, even the one that we did, everything was cut at the box store. I didn't have to cut anything. Yep, I gotta cut that piece off because I went out the wrong way. All right, so things you need. Two one by tens. Cut in a square, nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter. Four, you see them? One, two, three, four. Two by twos, which really aren't two by two either, but they're called two by twos and they're cut at 18 inches, 18 inches long. And then you will need eight one by twos. I'm missing one. There it is. Eight one by twos. And I'll give you the measurement because these were like six and an eighth, not quite six and a quarter. And then three five. Um, one by twos That's cut five. in five inches, mm -hmm. and they'll go on the top. So if you can see it. I cut those. He did cut those for me. So if you can see it, that would be the one by twos, which makes sides. The, um, the two by twos, the one by twos, the one by twos on the top, and then these are the one by eights. I mean, that's a whole lot of numbers. But we'll, two twos. <laughs> two twos. But we'll give you all of the, the measurements and stuff too. It's really easy. Most importantly, because I just think they look cool as all get out. We'll be right back. I'm get some cookies now. Safety goggles. Check it. Are they like really glary? Okay, I'll put the safety goggles on at the Is that end. A word? It, glary? Glary is a word. I don't think glary is a word. Ah, okay. But you need safety goggles. Always eye protection. Dr. Hensley. Friend of, uh, of our family, wonderful, from Columbus, Georgia. Always, 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 he's an, uh, an ophthalmologist. Mm -hmm. um, stresses and tells you eye protection. He doesn't need to have shards in your so eyes. So does the army. Yes, eye protection, everything. Eye You'll problem. need wood glue, wood glue. You will need, and this is my favorite. I had just discovered this and it is amazing. The Minwax, and you can tell I used it today, Minwax, am I getting any closer and you can see it? Gel stain, this is the bomb. This is so amazing. Just the way it goes on, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's my, it's my faves. Thank you, thumbs up, it is my faves. Hey Christina, how you doing? You'll need a, which is so awesome, a nail gun. This is also one of my favorites because y'all, it's battery powered, no compressor needed. Check it. Boom, uh, two inch brads, two inch nail brads. And um, then the choice. 18 gauge is what you use. Yes, 18 gauge, two inch. And then your choice of handles or knobs. These are so cool. I know, they're all thinking I'm a little kooky, but that's all right. These are so pretty. I love this one. I kind of, this one's kind of my favorite. It's crazy. Hey, Christina, she said, yes. vanity, what? I just saw a project using gel stain to spruce up a bathroom vanity. Yes. Love that. I saw one in a kitchen too. This is pretty cool. This one is another one of my favorites. It's white. It's kind of hard to see, but it is an elephant head. Wasn't an elephant your mascot for one of your units once? Oh, uh, yeah. The 164? 164. 164 is an elephant. So I really like this elephant. Rampant African elephant. Yes. So I like the elephant. 
I do like this. It's a little romantic rustic. That crystal on the top, very super girly. So me, I love that. Um. And then, are you um in? Another? Both of them. Darn, darn, just darn. Okay, thing that cracked. And then this one. Okay, anyone. So OMG, elephant, right, Bethany? You gotta love that. <laughs> I'm like, ah, I saw the elephant, yes! If I could find anything. To me, what makes these so cool, and I don't know if you'll be able to kind of see it from here, is, I mean, that looks cool. I do like that. That is very pretty once we screw those in. But come on, the elephant on top of this would just be, I love Majestic. it. Majestic. Majestic, I say, yeah, yes. All right, so let's get to work. You can stain all of your pieces beforehand, or you can stain them once you've built the whole thing. So I'm coming on over here. You ready to go? Say that again. You don't use those as decoration. Okay, there we go. Decoration. All right, so I'm gonna set that one over there. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to put the two by twos on the one by ten with a little bit of glue, and then the nail gun. Ready? You got the nail gun? Yeah. Just trying to like drink coffee, have a date night. What? I just don't even think so. Help. Yeah, you help me out. I think it's a pull, and I'm doing a push. Well, last night you wanted me to cut it off. I, you know, I wasn't quite sure. What's up? All right, got the nail gun. I'm here for the Brutus stuff. Oh, All right, eye protection. Yeah. No, eye protection. I'm not playing armor right now. I am. He doesn't want to listen. I don't need I'm eye listening. protection for glue. Eye protection. But then we're going to use the nail gun right away. Okay, then I'll put it on. All right, it's so a little nail, little nail gun. A little glue. Whenever you do wood to wood, make sure you put glue on it. I'd go heavy. You can always wipe it off. Yeah, you can. Okay, you ready? You're going to nail this. I'm gonna hold that one there. Yeah. Or I'm gonna nail it. You go ahead and do it. All right, you got like it. To, you like to nail it. I do. This is awesome. Here we go. It's kind of big, and I'm not that tall. Damn. Boom! All right, we're gonna do the next one. Without getting my finger. I promise I won't get your finger. Maybe. Just no, I won't get his finger. Just put it on heavy. Because then you can just wipe it off with a wet rag. Ready? I'm going to do it across that way. Okay. So it'll be balanced. Crossed that way? Go ahead, flip it. Ready? Oh, yeah. All right. Just use the chopping block. Mm hmm. There you go. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> Stop, he's freaking me out. All right, we're just gonna keep going here. Glue. Glue. Splipper. I like glue. I like glue too. We gotta take that right out. Take one out. Right there. Right, here we go. Glue's coming out, but that's all right. You can always wipe it out. Now you can do screws too if you want to. You don't have to use a. You don't have to use a nail gun. Because these are going out in our patio. They are. Yes, next to the pallet bar that I made. You mean my mulch holder? Yeah, right now. All right. Ready? Boom. All right, flip her over. All right, would you have any questions? What's happening there? Thanks, Frank. Awesome. That nail gun, right? This nail gun, though. You need one. It's awesome. So then what we're going to do is start the pieces in the inside, right here, and I cut them to fit tight, fit nice and tight. If you can see this, they're going to go like that. So I'm just going to go ahead if you want to start. You want glue? Thank you. I forgot said glue, wood to wood, you need the glue. Bottom or sides? It doesn't matter. 
Okay, I'm gonna go on the sides. You do both, actually. We Just could. Things. I mean, if you're gonna use this outside, I'd, I'd weather it with like some lacquer or something. Well, it's gonna have this stain. That stain doesn't. The stain okay, will wear go off. ahead. The lacquer will seal the wood. Ooh, I'm getting Pick all this stuff up. on. Wanna do those? So tell us, what are you guys doing tonight? We're, we're making stuff. You wanna do it? You can't, you're not, that's not long enough. Yeah, two inch. It's right. It's exactly the length because this is not two inches. Did you get, oh, you got bigger I brass. got bigger brass. Yeah, I did. I wasn't messing around. I didn't know that. I thought you still had the small one. No, I went and got the... So I woke up really early this morning and I was at the... No, um, I woke up really early this morning. <laughs> he woke up, yeah, to get there for a PT. Um, got up early because I needed longer brads, so picked up some longer brads. Because the Home Depot's here aren't like the one in Miami. That what? You know the one in Miami only stays open, but it's like a multi... It's <laughs> like the... All right, so we're here. If you can see that. Now we're going to get those all the way around. Can I pop it out? Oh, that's just a staple. Oh, okay. But you're dripping glue. Oh, well, that's... There you go. Ready? Get her in. Any side you want. All right, so we'll see some questions. What do you got there? You helped my daughter write a letter to my husband. It just left, he just left, help my daughter write a letter to my husband. Is just left for deployment. He did. You got this girl. It's all good. Deployments, you know, make you strong. That's what I say. All right, here we go. Next one. And we're gonna make this in this whole time that we're gonna be on here. I can get it right there. You got it. Watch your face. Oh, am I short? Watch your face. Nope, I still have plenty in there. Watch your face. And then this side. I need a, a second camera that could get like other all angles. All up in your face. Would be awesome. Other angles would be really, really good. It's all right. Now Brad's will get them. All right. Trying to read. See if you can read. He likes the glue. <laughs> I think he likes the glue. It's tasty. <laughs> Did you sniff glue as a child? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Weird question. <laughs> it was like, what? There we go. Got that one in there. I did build models. You did. I, I know. Is that that one? They don't make that glue anymore. It's all non-toxic and good. Can't lock Shouldn't up. be toxic. All right, so we're three, three the way around. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're going four. All right, I'm trying to read some questions. At Al, and see what's going on. Wood shard in the leg. Just kidding. Wood chip. He likes the glue. Hey, Elaine. I mean, yeah, Elaine. Can you get that one in there? Yep. Awesome. So. When we were cutting these, some of the, the, the bits and pieces kind of look rough. That's good. That just gives it character. That's what rustic is. It doesn't have to be all perfect. You can use scrap wood. You can use pallet wood. You can use somebody else's wood. <laughs> Free wood. All right, here we go. Here we go. Locking this one in. Done. I could have so much fun with this. Your puns all oh, day. I have so much fun with this episode. Gotta keep it G-rated. G-rated. Uh-oh. You charge the battery lately? Because it is battery powered. It is battery powered. Do you think I'm low on battery? No. I don't think I just have the pressure enough. There we go. All right. And I'm looking like super rocking. So here we are. A one by 10, two by twos, and now we've put the one by twos that we've cut. Too many twos. Too many twos. So, top. Knee to the top. Okay, so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to And I wanna go on the same way that the other one is. That's up to you. I do. You're gonna have to go one quarter at a time. Yeah, one quarter at a time. So. Let me know where you want me to go. I like the glue. He does, he likes the glue, and here he goes. I like salad too. Rocking the glue. I like salad. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you all. Really? I mean, I hope you all enjoy our little craziness because it's all good. Hey, you know what? If you have any suggestions for a, a DIY that you want to see on our D 
DIY date night? Comment below and let us know and I'll figure out how to make it, whatever it is. I'm sure I can. With plans, anything is possible. This All right, here we go. Center. Do this one right now. Hold aim, aim for the center. If you aim for the center, you don't have to worry about the wood. That's it. Two, two's enough. Whoa, I did it. That's he knew I would. I was telling you. He did. And so That could have got you right in your face. But I have oh, eye protection on. Yeah. So look what happened. I went too far, too and it came right through. I went too close to the edge. So he's going to help me out here and get rid of it. I'm going to get you in your face. Get me in my face. Character. Awesome. It can be filled. Yes, it can. Even better. All right, ready? Yep. All right, let's go this way. Get your gun. Just told me to get the gun. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Stay Aim for the, the center. Stay center. Got it. Boom. Paper towels. Paper towels, right there. Doing this in the kitchen. I'm just saying. In the kitchen. Right, hey, George. Hey, Katie. Just saying hi. That glue dries fast. Oh, don't wait. <laughs> let me, please, let me get my fingers out of the way. Yes. Here we go. Oh. Came through. It's okay. I'll chip it. Okay. Stay in the center. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. I can, I can break that one off. But we'll get the rest. All right. And then the last one. Yeah. I'm gonna have to hold this one. You ready? Yep, stay in the center. That's not the center. Look, you got all this wood back here. Look how far you are in the center. Awesome. Need some help. Need some eyes. All right. So now, it's helping me grab that one. And if they do come through, take those right it out. It makes it even more rustic. It does. It makes it rustic because it puts like dings and stuff in there, <laughs> which I like. Yep. All right. And so what, the same thing we did on the bottom, or if you want to call that the bottom, and now the top is already done, we're going to put our pieces in on the bottom. So he's got my glue. What am I doing? Um, glue. Oh, glue. Glue, and I'm doing uh, tea. Because I like glue. I'm just saying. So for those of you who came on a little bit later, this is what we're making. I can't even do that. Oh, it's A lantern. And these are great. You can chalk paint them for like the 4th of July, red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. That would be really cute. You can camo paint it. So you can camo paint it. If you're doing like a whole dude background. <laughs> Careful. Yep. Watch your face. And then I'm gonna get another one. All you hear is that. So our kids are upstairs and my daughter's texting me. Really? Really? I'm just like, come on. That one's tight? Tight, don't worry about it. He can do it. All right, let's get on that one. There we go. Oh, that was way too close. So we'll find a common ground. Just look through this, right back to the original. Is this the original? Mm-hmm. There we go. So I answer in some more questions. Tina, I'm loving this. Thank you, girl. Anna, what shade is that stain? Got you. I got you, Anna. It's called chestnut. Chestnut. And it is absolutely my favorite. It's, it's so easy to work with. It, you kind of do it in layers. So you put it on, see how much you like, wipe it off. If you want it darker, do it again. But I really like the gel stain more than anything. This one was my favorite. Why the chuck? Well, no, I love chalk paint for chalk paint, and I like stain for stain, but I like this one. So, here we go. All right, here we go. That one was a nice, snug fit. You know, there's a place near where we are, which is going to be a fun date night. You can um, hand blow glass, like glass bowls. Oh, yeah. Yes. That sounds awesome. That is awesome. I definitely want to go do that. I was thinking about going to the gun range. The gun range is fun too. I wouldn't say no. Didn't we do that once for an anniversary? We went to the gun range. For our yes. 14th anniversary, we went to the gun range. All right. So, one, uh, two, more, two more to do. This side and this side. 
No, I think it's loaded and you have it pointed at me, right? But it doesn't, it won't. What I love muzzle about the safety awareness. is muzzle. it won't do anything until that's depressed. Haven't you watched horror movies? Okay, horror it's Horror movies? <laughs> horror movies. No more coffee for me. No more coffee for him. He with is the, done. With, with all the monsters I've had today. What is the difference coffee? between gel and the original? Oh, yeah, you're going to see that. And I know I'm going to say a word that's going to be really funny in a moment. Like glary? Like glary? Glary. 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 But that is a word. You can't see me. I'm doing like totally using the wrong item. But all right. The stain, regular stain, is a liquid, right? Gel stain. And you'll see it when we pull out. It's gel. It's gelatinous. That's the word I was looking gelatinous. for. It's gelatinous. It's like a jelly. So, so was you the just blob. it just helps you <laughs> work with it so much better. It's not all liquidy. I don't know. I really like the consistency and I like how it works. That's just my thing. Which one am I doing now? It coagulates. It coagulates. This one? No, that one's got it. Which one did you do? That one? These two. These two. All right, here we go. All right, almost. Oh, I ended up going too high on that one. And then last one. There we go. Bam. Does kind of look like a trophy bottom, trophy bottom. But there you go. And there were no angle cuts on any of this. This was all straight cuts, so it's pretty easy to do. Right? Yeah, you can do this with uh, a miter box saw. Mm -hmm. or, or a miter saw. Or table. Yeah, if you have a table if saw. If you have a table saw. So I like to give it a little decorative on the top kind of thing. If you look at the one we did before, it's got those little pieces on the top, makes it more rustic. So you can glue them together first if you want to. I'm just gonna brad them right in there. But this is one inch and one inch, and this is two inch, so I don't want it to go completely through. And I'm gonna switch out my nails. Yeah. I'm going to switch out my nails to the shorter nails. Question is, where did I put the shorter nails? These are the shorter nails. Or brads. I shouldn't call them nails because they're brads. So I'm going to switch them out. And I need to get tall. Okay, am I in the center? Looks good. Starting to think I'm slick and I'm going faster. So just on the top, mm -hmm. get closer so you can see it on the top. Just nail those right up there. And that is it. Boom. So the only thing we do need to get, honey, is a drill. So we can drill through these. Hey, I got some of those. He is going to get a drill because some lucky winner is going to um, not get, get, my drill. get, not get the drill, but get, um, get one of these lanterns. So up, up for the vote. We need you. We need you guys some. Hearts, thumbs up. Um, Which one are you doing? Any, they're all the same, pretty much in the width. And so what we need you to do is vote. Vote, 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 vote. Do you like the elephant? Everybody likes elephants. Everybody likes the elephant. Who doesn't, love Who doesn't, right? The elephant as the top knob. Ooh, elephant. The iron and crystal. Right, iron and crystal, that one's pretty. Or, it's so weird when he leaves because it's like silent. So I'm like, what? And he went and took the other one. He took it away, I don't know what he's doing. Um, this one, also it's just iron, it's really pretty. So we need you guys to let us know, which one do you want? You could also do the top like uh, barn door design. Yes, we could, Jenny, that's a great idea. That is a very good idea and we could do it that way. So he's gonna drill this for me, but we need you guys to vote because whoever we pick tonight, yeah, this is what you're gonna get, whichever one it is. I don't wanna give the elephant away though, I like the elephant. All right, so we'll do a little sample of the stain so you can check it out. So I use some gloves because I used to not use gloves, thinking I'm all slick. And I get my hands all cray cray. Oh, this was the other one I wanted to show them. What? Oh, sorry. 
the other knob. Elephant, I'm hearing elephant, ooh. Jennifer says elephant. There's an elephant in the room. Chelsea said crystal and iron. I know, it's just so rustic and chic. It's that ro rustic romantic. Ooh, I like it. Um, we're what getting ready. Just, what did I just walk into? What, rustic romantic. Like it's date stuff. night. But we do build stuff on our date night. It's awesome. Um, we're getting ready to release our style quiz that is gonna go out pretty soon that you guys can take to see what kind of style you are for your home decor. Um, but hey, and you like the iron iron, Christine? No, I think says iron, Marissa says iron, which would, you know, we can do either one. Yep. He's trying to find the right drill size and he's gonna. Do you wanna practice first on the one we've already done? We can practice. I'm gonna put this one out of the way. We'll practice with this one. It's right in the middle. Gonna go right in the middle? Yep. Eye protection. I'm always the eye protection. All the way through. Woo! Look at it. Smoking. Smoking. Literally. Nice. All right. So then let's do. Oh, you wanna practice? I'll test it. Size. So it was just right there. I'm gonna have to get the next one up. The next it was, one up. Like right, it was just kind of like right there, so I thought it would fit. You know, like as soon as you showed the example top, it came to mind, so I had to Google Google to show you. Oh, well, okay, Jenny, show, show me, show me, show me. Send it, put a picture of it in the comments. Let us know what it is. I know, I just like read so softly, that's really weird. Okay. Hi. Hi! Eye protection. Perfect. Oh my like gosh. Love. Except it is too short. Oh yeah, it is. It is too short. Sweet. I oh. Bad. Then, at least, yeah. I have to come up with another solution, but we will figure it out. Either way. Don't you love live TV, live whatever this is? No, I just drill out the bottom of it with a little hole saw and make it. So oh, it then you can put it right in. All right, you want to drill up this one? In, just a little tappy tappy of the nut, and then you just screw this in, and it locks it in. Awesome. We're cutting off your head. Okay. Come on over here. I really Why can't see you. off my head? Because can't see you. There oh, you go. Oh, I thought we were like. Actually, gonna wait till you wait, 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 so I can lift it up just a skosh so you can see. I thought him. you all just voted while I was gone that you were cutting off my head. No, yeah, we just can't see you. Like. All right, ready? Got you. Yep, go. There it is. Whoop. Make sure. Yeah, all right. Yeah, and we will get that. So that was easy. And if you use one like this, you don't have to drill a hole because you would just screw it on. Yeah. It'd be easier. All right, so getting to the stain. Yeah, oh, where's my little one? There it is. Wear some gloves, and this is the stain, y'all. We're asking kind of what, what's it like? What's it sort of look like? I'm gonna pull some out of here. It is like a gel, it literally, this gelatinous gel. Gelling. But look at that. I love how this applies. And you can mix the gel with paint. And then that does a really cool effect because they almost, it's like oil and water. They don't really mix, but they kind of work on top of each other, which is really neat. Gonna, so this is the Minwax. Are you gonna use this one? Um, we can. This is the Minwax Chestnut. Chestnut, yeah, right, Anna? Nice. Pretty. And then you'll end up with, I'm trying to talk and look and swipe and... We'll we got some small gold screws. All right, he's gonna work that out. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep staining this bad boy. Again, you can stain all the pieces before, or you can stain them like I am, like right now as I'm doing this thing. And it dries really quickly. I was surprised at how quick this dried up. There we go. So I'm gonna do it again so you can really see this coming around the corner. Hey, y'all. So see, it's kind of like a gel. It's 
kind of freaky, right? It's like a gel. And then I can bring it up so you can see it. It's just a gel. And then that gel works magic. And there it is. Pretty nice. I'm doing it really quick. Again, rustic. What is rustic, my friends? Kind of homespun, sort of. Can have dings and beat up a little bit. It's good. And, I, you know, as a military family, we move a lot. So furniture naturally gets dinged. So sometimes I think that the uh, rustic style was invented just for us. But, you know, it's all good. Even though I don't have Albedo. I did for a while. I kept saying, I'm not going to buy new furniture. I'm not going to change things because it's just going to get messed up in a move. But I hated that thought. So I stopped thinking that way. And now I do it all the time. I refurbish, restain. I do buy a lot of things that I can find in salvage at the consignment stores. Come up with some really cool things. Then I chalk paint it. Chalk paint is your friend, for real. Chalk paint can go a long way. I'm still going, I'm still going. But you see, like I said, it's just a gel. Doesn't have a bad smell at all. Um, I kind of like the smell, but it's not like really heavy. Some like stains have such a heavy, heavy smell. This one's not too bad. And I still have my eye protection on because I don't want anything flicking up at me. And then I'm getting it down here at the bottom and on all the sides. He's still working, so I'm still talking. Then I'm gonna get it all the way around. You wanna stain everywhere, inside, the out. Don't, don't just stain the outside and think, all right, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, no, you see the inside, you see it all. Stain all the parts. Moving this out of my way. Stain all the parts. What are you guys thinking? What do you think? Where's my date? My date is gone. He's gone into the garage, never to be seen again. Will he come back out of the garage? <laughs> All right. So what are you guys doing on your date night, on this date night? Do you, are you like sitting there with your, your significant other? That'd be fun. You're just kind of chilling, chilling. Hey, honey, we thought we lost you in the garage. Here. I can't find my big old box. Uh, the oh, don't worry about it. We'll, has we'll, all my little specialty screws in it. We will get it done for our friends. So I'm gonna stop because we've been going for for a while. But this is the idea. And I'm gonna just leave that so I can finish this off. We're gonna finish this off in a few minutes, and we are going to send a lucky winner, the smaller one because it's easier to ship, I think, mm -hmm. with a candle and a handle top. Did I turn my candle on? So you can see how pretty it is. Take my gun out of my way. All my stuff, all my stuff. And we will send this one. So you ready, honey? We gotta do a, um, a giveaway. Ready? Here we go. It's like, whoa, that was weird. Ready? Can I do it? And I'm not looking, look, my eyes are closed. I'm not. <laughs> And it's that person, Marissa, Marissa Earthman, Marissa Earthman. You are the winner. Woo -woo. Mm -hmm. We got to do a happy dance. Ready? Happy dance for Marissa. Happy dance for Marissa. I know. What is he was like Saturday night fevering. Uh -huh. yeah. So Marissa, please send us your um, address in a private message. Do not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't put your address in the comments. Send us a private message and uh, send us your address and we will ship this beautiful lantern to you. Since we haven't put the top on it, the handle, mm -hmm. please let us know which one you like. Elephant, crystal, or other knob. I'll put pictures up so you can see them. So congratulations, Marissa. I'm going to get this out of my way because it's just like so gigantic right now. And move it out just for a second. Yeah, I'm just moving over here. There we go. So this one, this is Marissa. She's our winner. Woohoo! So um, we will post the materials and cut list on the bottom. 
in the comment. I can do this. I can talk in the in the caption so that you can uh, make one yourself. But it's really easy. How long did it take us? We've been on for a minute. Not even thirty minutes. I love this one. That one's my favorite. Still just just too short. But we'll we'll do the thing on the inside. This one's my favorite. I love that one. So all right, guys. Thanks so much. I, this is my date. I hope you have a date for tonight. No, he's my date always, whether he likes it or not. Okay. He's my date. Mwah. Okay. Oh, I love you. Did I get lipstick? He doesn't lipstick. like lipstick. So thanks again. Join us next Thursday. Hopefully we'll always be on Thursdays, but it does depend on, you know, life. Yeah. That happens um, around this time, 7.30 Central, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And give us some ideas of anything you'd like to see on a DIY, and we will, we will make it. We will do it. Attempt. <laughs> uh, attempt to do it. We'll get it done. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good date night. Have a good date night. Bye. Bye.